Hello, good evening, guys. Welcome, welcome to this beautiful evening. And today we are going to have a very interesting discussion. I just uh, I'm doing this LinkedIn live after a long time, I suppose, because uh, I was also stuck, and basically I was uh, stuck into several client deliverables, and uh, I thought that I should uh, do this knowledge session every week, and now I I have decided that I'll do this every week with you guys. So today we are going to have a very interesting discussion that. what is the right way to basically implement any erp solution or what is the uh, you know erp implementation the right way first let me give you a context that uh, what is the importance of having the right erp system now there is no uh, point in me repeating that what is the importance of having the right erp system an erp system in any organization is the heart of any organization because in hindi we actually basically tell all the business owners all the cfos that beta jhoot bol sakta hai but data nahi okay beta jhoot bol sakta hai but data jhoot nahi bol sakta which means that they, uh, uh, your son can basically lie to you but the data cannot lie to you okay that's the way i look at it basically when i say that data streamlining is one of the most important activity in any organization and that can be done only when you have an effective erp right so you should continuously focus on strategizing the data rather than basically doing daily daily transactions okay and they are doing it manually that is not a good practice right now when i talk about several clients with whom i am working there were some clients who is basically the unicorn but the entire billing process manual for them and the biggest pain point for them in a month if they raise 10000 invoices but out of that 5000 of them are credit notes just imagine the number of errors that is happening in the billing system for them similarly in one of the companies which is one of the largest brokerage houses in india they are their source system is basically a third party system where they account for all the contracts and their host erp does not have any control as to how many contracts are coming how many premiums have been closed how many basically contracts have been uh, matured right these are some of the always whenever you do any erp implementation i have a very common objective right no erp implementation can be 100% perfect 100% all right on day one please remember this right no erp implementation so you should pick up the battles and pick up and choose your battles in such a way that you are able to achieve seven to eight key objectives of any implementation that one you basically automate your entire revenue recognition hypothetically second you automate your entire revenue to collections basically order to cash process number three will be basically automate your entire banking process so on and so forth set eight to 10 objectives that is the first step right second what should your erp dream team okay look like okay majority of us are basically fascinated with the word erp implementation we go to basically big four we go to several implementation partners but have you ever pondered upon the fact that what is the real reason for failure of erp implementation yes i am asking you a very pertinent question why do majority of the erp implementations fail the latest statistics says that almost 55% of erp implementations fail to meet the business objectives okay be it sap be it oracle be it later microsoft dynamics bc fno module erp next whatever or any other open source erp right this failure cannot be attributed to the system it cannot be attributed to the technical partner it cannot be attributed to any specific third party system the failure is there on our side because we are not able to do two things we are not able to expect we are not able to draw down our expectations very clearly what do we expect out of the system and then we don't make the under, understanding very clear with the partner that what is needed and that is where the gap is and that's the reason more than 55% of the implementations fail right functional capabilities is the key functional capability is the mantra for any erp implementation a combination of a technical partner plus a functional partner is basically bingo it's power of 2 always follow the power of 2 power of 2 says that basically on one side you have the technical person who understands the technical system who understands out of the box who understands how the framework of the system is on one side have a strong functional partner okay have a strong functional partner who actually understands or generally we always assume that there is a cfo office there is a ceo office there is a strategy office who knows very clearly that what are the requirements and they are supposed to play the role of the functional guy but 90% of the companies okay and i am being very candid to you we don't have time leaving aside our daily operations and focus on the special project and that's the reason there has to be a dedicated team who is basically the functional expert who understand the systems who understand the business and they marry the two because we cannot expect this out of a technical implementation partner you will get 
many partners okay and there is nothing to criticize there is nothing to criticize because there is a techno functional role there is a functional consultant but whether they will 100% understand your business models whether they will understand 100% of the function whether they will understand 100% of the finance integrities no one can assure right that's the reason the role of a functional team plays a very important aspect plays a very important play has got a lot of prominence nowadays and you should make sure okay that you have a functional team aside in order to make sure that the custom the custom fields or basically the erp is designed in such a way that it serves your purpose okay you can achieve the custom fit erp for your own company now all of us keep on pondering what is the difference between a functional consultant and a tech partner what is the difference between a functional team and a technical team a tech partner will come with the out of box approach out of the box approach where basically he will have a standard uh, uh, coca or we say okay, call it as a box approach that this is how sap operates this is how erp operates this is how oracle operates right now for example if you are a bfs or nbfc logically all your transactions in terms of lms you will always have an lms that is a loan management system okay which will be a third party system and there has to be a continuous integration to the sap or the oracle module what you are using right a tech partner will probably focus only on the tech framework how to bring the transaction in the ecosystem okay what kind of gst implications are going to be there what kind of tds implications are going to be there what kind of reporting requirements are going to be there this can be done only by a functional person who is competent enough to understand the business model right a tech partner will focus probably only on the tech framework will set up the entire system for you but there will be a limitation on to the extent of the customizations being done and customization is secondary first of all the business what you have there is a the concept of brd business requirement document but the effectiveness of this brd is missing in the entire industry because brd is supposed to talk about your entire business process how the things will operate what kind of uh, as is process are there what is going to be the to be process post implementation and there has to be a process there has to be a tech system and the process needs to get married to basically the technology system what you have and that is what is a brd and this is the most important step in any implementation now how functional consultant focus on business model specific customization they basically go through the entire business requirement they uh, understand what kind of reports do you see they talk to the respective stakeholders they talk to the respective management uh, people that ultimately what is it that you want to achieve the most important aspect in any erp implementation is setting up the setting up the right enterprise structure when i say setting up the right enterprise structure at what level you want to look at the profitability at what level you want to allocate the resources at what level you want to look at the balance sheet at what level you want to basically look at the business at what level you set up something like a wbs in sap at what level do you set up a project code in any system these aspects are very important they actually study your business model and such as the best system okay for your business requirements they also will probably customize every module only to the extent required they actually understand they can actually work around they can actually talk about work around with the tech partner which you will not be able to in your own choose because i when i was a controller i did not realize that what kind of customization what kind of out of the box approaches are available when it comes to system right i want to talk about one or two case studies today right i am talking about one of the biggest unicorns which is there today and major problem that i spoke about is uh, was for them it is a billion dollar unicorn all their billing process was completely manual and the issues that they faced to manual intervention was issues in pricing issue in basically basic, uh, their rates issue in basic client escalation issue in the layout what we are issuing okay they were able to do the billing of the previous months only by the 15th day of the subsequent month or 10th day of the subsequent month when i say this i raise invoices i would do all the alterations and ultimately the customer used to get invoice only on the 10th or 11th day of the month we built the oracle system in such a way there is a concept of pass layer in oracle so we automated their billing systems in such a way that logically the entire billing engine is automated in the system in a third party engine in oracle and the entire billing process happens in two days of time right similarly for a services company okay in delhi they are manpower based company their major problem was basically the attendance records records not getting synced with the customer billing the entire billing process was manual okay we automated the entire order to cash process in such a way the place where they record the attendance management or the system what they have for attendance management we have synced up that entire system with the billing module and the entire billing happens automatically today third example it is into it services logically it's a listed company okay 
you can challenge me and i can challenge you no erp standard system caters to 100% of the service models like you will have time and material you will have fixed price you will have transaction based contracts you can have royalty contracts so we had set up the system in such a way that the entire amc engine the deferred revenue engine happens automatically today in the company the revenue recognition the entire poc happens automatically percentage of completion the entire time and material the time sheets comes from the system automatically and there is a middle layer okay and we marry both the two and the billing goes automatically today and there is a track of the open sales order what is there in the system right to understand the nitty gritties of these integrations are very important right which is the whole system where the data is getting captured where the erp plays a role what kind of integrations are required how to map the fields these are very smaller aspects and finer aspects of it which basically a functional person can only bring to the table yeah so you need to make sure whether it is reimplementation of your existing system or implementation of a new one the roi of the project should be measurable that what am i doing for example the example what i gave i can say by implementing a billing process i was able to bring down their five man months a month five man months that means i'm talking about a cost of 7 to 8 lakh rupees a month of finance right that is one aspect of it but the second aspect of it the release of working capital by improving their billing process the dsl has come down the working capital has got released that eases the system significantly guys right so roi is very 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 important when you look at the listed company what i spoke about their entire revenues mrr arr everything comes out of the system that is what is important so if you why if you would like to know more about how we can help up the uh, help you in setting up the right system for your organization book a solutioning call with my team today with the link in the comments below right i am looking forward to speak to you thank you